Hey, we need to charge. Yeah, and it's raining too. But the internet says if it's raining, we shouldn't charge. Well, if the internet says it, you know it must be true, or maybe not. So, of course, you can charge your electric car when it's raining. Um, they did think of that when they were designing it. <laughs> the, the, the charging stations are set up with, with safeties and, and all of that. And would it be nice if uh, they had, like, coverings like gas stations do? Yes. Some of them have Some them. of them do, but Most not... Most of them don't. Not nearly as many as there should be. But Agreed. we're here at an urban supercharger in downtown Fort Worth, and we're going to prove that you can charge while it's raining because it's raining. So let's go. Let's do this. Let's do it. So, yeah, I had a totally different video plan for today, but since it's raining, let's do this one. So we're going to take the plug, tap it on the thing. I could have done that. Plug in and just like that. And yes, my hands are wet, the cable's wet, and I did not get electrocuted. I am still here. <laughs> um, but uh, we're blue, blue, blue. It's thinking about it. It's thinking about it. It's, it's thinking about it. It's still thinking about it. <laughs> it doesn't usually take these things this long to kick on. Oh no, it says it's supercharging. It's green Oh, now. there's the green light. Okay, so let's take a look at the screen. You wanna hop in the other side so you're not getting rained on? Okay. We're getting 74 kilowatts. This is an urban supercharger, so they don't charge super fast. So we're getting 74 kilowatts, a little over 300 miles an hour in, in terms of total charging. Uh, and we started at 91 miles of range, we're already up to 100, and we've been here for I don't know how long, so I'm gonna try to figure that out. Yes, you can charge in the rain, and this is only gonna be a video that's informative for people who don't own or drive EVs, because, or maybe you just got one, and if it rains, you don't wanna to have to worry about charging it, but you can. It's, it's perfectly fine, it's perfectly safe. We've had to plug in our Bolt in a rainstorm before on a road trip. Many times. Now, the Bolt is a little bit finickier, -er, more finicky than some of the other EVs. That, but especially with our wall box. It, yes. It's finicky with our wall box when there's rain. When that car gets to the end of its charge, I mean, it will, it will charge. It'll, it'll get all the way up to its charge limit, and as soon as it disconnects the charge limit, it trips the breaker on the, on the wall box. The wall box, for those of you who don't know, is the thing that we put on the side of our house that actually charges our electric vehicles from our home. And that's our level two charger. It does not do that on any of our others. It doesn't do it on the live wire, the Fiat, or this Tesla uh, in, in the rain. All it's, of those charge only, fine in the rhyme. It's the only rhyme. on the bolt. And it charges the bolt fine. It just doesn't want to stop the charge on the bolt. Yeah. And I just reset it and it's fine and it works just great. Yeah. Uh, and yes, we did have that professionally installed just in case anybody's saying we might have messed something up. So we've been here for, I don't know, uh, maybe like four minutes plugged in. Something like that. Uh, let's take a look at where we're at. So we're still getting 74 kilowatts of power. Uh, we have picked up, we're up to 113 miles of range. We've gained 19 miles of range in that, in that like four minutes. And this is the slowest Tesla supercharger type that there is. So these are just in the middle of cities and things like that for someone to get a, a charge while they're having lunch or something like that, which is what a few people here are doing. As you can see, we're, we're not alone. There are other Teslas here uh, and it's, it's raining. It's been raining off and on. Should we, so, get, a, should we get an unplugged? Well, go ahead. Say what you're going to say. Well, I was just going to say, it's natural for the first thing to come into your mind when you're thinking about electric vehicles and charging in the rain that that might be a problem, that it might be dangerous. It's a natural thing to wonder about, but rest assured, the engineers thought of that and they did arrange it so that it's perfectly safe. And I've never heard of anybody getting electrocuted trying to charge their electric vehicle in the rain. Well, yeah, it hasn't happened to us, so there's that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and unplug now. Should I do this? You want to stay in the car while you're dry? I will let you do that. Okay, I'm going to go unplug us and uh, get on with the rest of our errands. All I got to do is come back here, push on the button, it disconnects. Plug that in, door closes by itself, and we're good to go. So it's a short video because it's an easy myth to debunk. Can you charge in the rain? Yes, you can. Uh, and can you charge in the rain and live to tell about it? Yes, yes, you, you can. can. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. If you've got any other myths that we can do a quick debunking on, let us know in the, in the comments. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.